In many ways, rockets can be likened to cars. Just as a car requires a high-performance engine to zip through highways and climb steep hills, rockets need robust and efficient engines. It's not only about having an engine, it's about having one that can navigate the immense challenges of space, providing the necessary thrust to break away from Earth's gravitational grip. SpaceX understands the importance of this, and that's why they've developed the formidable Raptor engine. SpaceX's journey in rocket propulsion didn't begin with the Raptor engine. It was instead a progression built upon years of meticulous research, design, and practical implementation. Before the formidable Raptor series, SpaceX had already made a mark in the aerospace domain with their Merlin engines. The Merlin engines were used on their Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles. Utilizing rocket-grade kerosene and liquid oxygen as propellants, the Merlin engines played a pivotal role in SpaceX's early successes. Some might wonder, why didn't SpaceX simply use the tried and tested Merlin engines for the Starship? The answer lies in the vast differences between the Falcon series and the Starship. The Starship is not just another rocket, it's an ambitious project designed for long-duration cargo and passenger flights to distant destinations like Mars. The sheer size and purpose of the Starship mean that the power required to lift this behemoth off the ground is on a completely different scale. The Merlin, while exceptionally powerful in its own right, simply doesn't possess the necessary thrust to propel the Starship to its intended missions. SpaceX didn't stop with the Raptor 2. As the world keenly anticipated what would come next, SpaceX unveiled the Raptor 3. Musk proudly showcased the engine's outstanding thrust metrics, indicating an impressive 18% enhancement compared to the Raptor 2. Considering that the Raptor 2 had already achieved a 25% thrust increase over its predecessor, Raptor 1, and was 20% lighter, it's clear that SpaceX's trajectory in engineering and innovation is soaring to incredible heights. One might wonder, with such intricate tech and advancements, what would the cost be? Musk surprised many by revealing a relatively low price tag for such a piece of advanced tech. Furthermore, with the current production rate at one Raptor 2 engine per day, SpaceX has set an even loftier goal, producing four engines per day. But this ambitious production isn't just about quantity, it's about preparing for the future. It's about Mars missions, about creating a multi-planetary civilization. Every Raptor engine produced takes humanity one step closer to that dream. The uniqueness of the Raptor engine stems from its full-flow staged combustion cycle. This advanced design is a game-changer as it offers superior fuel utilization, making the Raptor one of the most fuel-efficient rocket engines ever created. Instead of following the traditional path with rocket-grade kerosene as a propellant, SpaceX's visionary approach led them to embrace liquid methane. This choice is groundbreaking. Liquid methane not only supports achieving higher performance metrics, but also burns with remarkable clarity. This mitigates the challenge of carbon deposits, which can clog engine components and hinder optimal performance. When juxtaposed against its counterparts in the aerospace industry, the Raptor engine's exceptional attributes stand out prominently. Its thrust capabilities, fueled by its unique design and choice of propellant, are unparalleled. Additionally, the Raptor's combustion efficiency is second to none. Its high chamber pressure, a testament to the engine's robust design and craftsmanship, ensures that the fuel and oxidizer mix and burn with maximum efficiency, translating into more thrust per unit of fuel. Beyond sheer performance metrics, the in-house production of the Raptor engine by SpaceX deserves mention. Most aerospace companies, especially new entrants, tend to buy ready-made engines from established manufacturers. This approach reduces upfront R&D costs, shortens the timeline to first launch, and leverages the proven reliability of engines with flight heritage. However, instead of outsourcing or buying ready-made components, SpaceX has consistently chosen to manufacture each component themselves. Firstly, in-house manufacturing allows for customization. By developing the Merlin and later the Raptor engines themselves, SpaceX could tailor the engine's specifications precisely to their requirements. This customizability ensures a harmonious integration with their spacecraft designs, resulting in better overall system efficiency and reliability. Secondly, controlling the manufacturing process from start to finish gives SpaceX a unique quality assurance advantage. 
they can implement rigorous quality checks at every stage of the production cycle, ensuring that each component meets their stringent standards. Furthermore, the financial long-term benefits cannot be overlooked. While developing an engine from scratch involves hefty initial investments, over time the cost per launch decreases substantially. By avoiding recurring costs and markups associated with purchasing engines from third-party vendors, SpaceX can offer more competitive pricing for their launch services. Moreover, vertical integration, or the strategy of developing and manufacturing as much as possible in-house, is at the heart of SpaceX's philosophy. They believe that in order to achieve their ambitious goals from satellite launches to Mars colonization, they must have a deep understanding and control of every aspect of their hardware. This approach not only drives cost savings but also spurs innovation. Challenges that arise during the integration of different systems can be addressed immediately without the bureaucratic hurdles that can stymie collaboration between different vendors. Additionally, there's a matter of pride and vision. SpaceX's aim was not just to be another player in the aerospace industry, they wanted to revolutionize space travel. By taking charge of engine development and continuously iterating upon it, they could ensure that their rockets wouldn't just meet the industry standard, but would redefine it. The launch of the first Starship on April 20th is a moment many space enthusiasts won't soon forget. The excitement of the launch was somewhat tempered when the Raptor 2 engines experienced challenges. Specifically, a few of the 33 engines that power the rocket's first stage shut down prematurely, even before the rocket began its ascent. This hiccup shed light on the complexities and the demanding precision required in the field of rocket engineering. Despite these challenges, SpaceX has indicated their plan to retain the Raptor 2 engines for the upcoming flight. However, considering SpaceX's relentless drive for innovation, many are speculating that we might soon see the advanced Raptor 3 engines being tested in subsequent launches. The new Raptor 3, with its enhanced capabilities, might be the key to ensuring smoother and more reliable flights in the future. The anticipation surrounding SpaceX's Starship is at an all-time high especially with recent developments hinting at an imminent launch. The Federal Aviation Administration has dropped significant hints about granting the launch license soon, with the possibility of wrapping up the necessary safety reviews by the end of October. If everything goes as projected, we might be just days or weeks away from witnessing the second iconic launch of the Starship. Adding fuel to this anticipation, SpaceX recently tweeted, Starship stacked at Starbase ahead of flight, team continues to work with the FAA on a launch license. Accompanying this tweet was a stunning photo of the fully assembled Starship, poised and ready at SpaceX's private launch site, Starbase. Rockets and their engines are complex marvels of engineering. As we stand at the precipice of a new era in space exploration, with dreams of Mars colonization and beyond, it's engines like the Raptor that will lead the charge. As we continue to witness its evolution, one thing is certain. The skies are not the limit, just the beginning. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more all the SpaceX updates you'll need.